hello everyone in this video i show you how you can install fonts uh, because fonts are very important when you visit some websites like google and others in different languages so you can't see every fonts just like i open my browser and open some can you visit uh, hindi websites chinese website and other languages website you can't see any font Uh, because you have not uh, uh, installed any font in your PC, uh, I think my browser is not open. Yeah, now it's ready. Let's open Google and see what we get. And after uh, we are installing, uh, install that font, then we can see what. Uh, Uh, the impact on Google. Now Google is uh, open, and you can see here some fonts are not appear. Now nah, we only see some boxes. I think I installed some fonts, fonts so I see Hindi, Hindi languages fonts and other languages fonts, but uh, some fonts are not included. Let's uh, uh, solve this problem first. Uh, you need to visit on my GitHub. and uh, that's uh, the link uh, of the uh, github directory i give you that uh, link of the github directory in description of this video and here uh, the scripts and some information about that scripts and some fonts link i also given uh, below from my website and uh, now Uh, click on clone and copy that to URL and minimize that. I think two times my browser is open. Uh, open your terminal and go to your desktop. So we can see our full uh, all options in in our desktop. And now type git clo any clone. Sorry, clo. clone and paste your url and hit enter now our phone uh, directory is inserted here and now it's a very small directory so don't worry about that now we have uh, this directory from github and copy that and change the directory to this direct uh, install uh, font on kali linux Change it into this directory and check here. Here you can see a font ss script. Just you need to open that. Uh, first you need to execute that uh, file. Uh, so making that uh, file executable, you need to execute that uh, one command. That's it. And now check it again. and uh, that's uh, color is now changed now execute another command uh, that's is that now it's automatically work uh, you need to not need to anything just uh, answer yes or no if you want to install or not in middle of uh, this process it's ask uh, many times according to its process on your system it's uh, working automatically all uh, commands are uh, inserted in installing fonts basic fonts are uh, just like arials and uh, times of roman etc some basic fonts uh, included in this script so you not need to worry which fonts we required default fonts are included in it uh, just wait until its process is complete after then Uh, we need to move some fonts so i, I already uh, extract my font zip file you can find this uh, zip file uh, link in uh, github directory also in my uh, websites so uh, download them uh, them and uh, insert a, in a directory let's open that directory until uh, this process is open 
first open your file browser and go to in other locations and go to in your computer and here you need to go in users and now after then shares and and then find fonts then font in fonts you need to paste all the fonts here so let's do that and remember uh, it's uh, this speed uh, depends on your pc and uh, and your network so wait until th this process is completed and let's copy our fonts until this process is complete now all fonts may be copy yeah this process is start and maybe uh, 1000 plus fonts included in this directory and I think uh, my PC speed is very slow so that process is taking time but don't worry I try to uh, skip that and maybe fast forward all these fonts are now uh, copy here so our fonts work after uh, work uh, uh, this process let's wait until this process is complete now all fonts are uh, installed and we all uh, fonts uh, are already copy so execute one command let's first uh, check our google for fonts you can see all fonts are appear now i can't refresh and nothing to do on google but our fonts will appear now because uh, we already uh, installed our fonts so if uh, you are getting not getting any fonts in, in display so paste this and execute that command and uh, it will only refresh all the fonts and our work is done most of the cases and now we can see all the fonts in your Kalinux. So uh, don't don't worry if you are uh, uh, not have any fonts. I uh, included all the fonts in my uh, this zip files that I used in my Linux and Windows operating system. So I hope uh, your fonts problem is solved now by this video. Now goodbye. Have a nice day. Now goodbye have a nice day. Like this video and comment your questions and don't forget to subscribe.